Hi everyone, my name is Christine and sorry if I'm in my car. Uh, my son is a troublemaker so I try to stay away. I've been trying to make this video for a very long time. Um, and it's really hard to do it when he's around and that's why I am in my car. You might see a couple of people, you know, walking by. But really, it's really calm here. And my son is upstairs with his um, grandma. So I am here because I have the doctor. My doctor think that it is a benign or a swollen of my pituitary gland. So I either have a benign tumor in my pituitary gland or a swollen of my pituitary gland. And uh, so I'm not uh, producing any thyroid. So I'm on a medication called uh, Lovotaroxine. And um, I'm going to be on it for a year. So the, the, this is just the general story. So it started when I got pregnant three years ago. Uh, for the whole freaking nine months, I had migraines like not not migraines like you know just for an hour and it goes away it was 24 7 when i was pregnant and it was my last year of college i was a biology uh, and biochemistry student so i did a lot of studying i was i was in school like pretty much the whole freaking day and i was sick and i just had to deal with it i had I can remember the doctor said it was either Tylenol or the other one when you're pregnant there is one that you cannot have but I had 2000 milligrams of Tylenol in the morning for lunch and dinner this is how bad it was and even at some point I made so many trips to the emergency room because of my migraines that they also prescribed me some oxycodone but it was can't remember if it was milligram but it was just five milligrams and those would make me dizzy and throw up and I was in school so eventually I stopped uh, drinking it um, taking it not drinking but anyways um, I was really sick crying sometimes I'll wake up and I'm like I'm not taking the medic the, the Tylenols you know pain medicine because I'm hurting the baby I mean constant pain light sensitivity i used to uh, sit in front of the classroom and now i was in the back because i just couldn't stand it all the lights you know in my eyes so they didn't know what it was nobody knew oh it would go away after you give birth and it did so as soon as i gave birth it went away but then, I didn't have any milk. My, I tried for two months. I know I was still, I gave birth six weeks before graduation. I know I was still in school. I had a lot of help. I, have my, I had my husband's uh, aunt that came for two months and a half to help me with the baby. So I could, I could still breastfeed, but no milk was coming out. Nothing at all. So I gave up. Uh, a lot of friends uh, recommended a bunch of stuff. I'll uh, try the fenugreek thing. Nothing worked. So I gave up and then I started to lose weight. I was not doing anything. I was just a new mom. I know being a new mom can make you lose weight. I was a new mom. I was doing my master that I, I eventually quit because it wasn't something that I liked. It was something that I did just to stay in school and keep my scholarship because my scholarship paid my whole school, my home, my food, everything. And uh, that's the reason why I started this master, which was public administration, which had nothing to do with biology. And I eventually quit because I didn't, uh, didn't have any background in, uh, in it. So... I lost weight when I got pregnant I was 190 pounds 
we were on vacation. We went to uh, my country in Africa. I'm from Africa. My husband countries. And we went to Italy and France. So uh, I was eating a lot and I was 190 pounds. And right now I am 151 pounds. Let me tell you that at the end of my pregnancy, I was 235 pounds. So I went from 235 back to the 190 to 190 from to uh, from that 190 to 150. I bounced from 150 to 153 depending on what I eat during the week. So this was uh, the migraines, no milk. Number three was the weight. And then my period. So after I gave birth, I was bleeding for six, uh, the six weeks that they tell you. And after that, nothing. My period came back. My son was almost, my, almost two. My period came back in January of 2016 when my son was, uh, no, 17. He turned two in 2017, around January. And it was only here for six months, then went away again and came back in, uh, no, and went away and that was it. So in three years, I've only had my period for six months. So this January, when he, when my period went away again, this time I thought I was pregnant. So I went to see my primary doctor and, uh, you know, she started to think about a couple of stuff and she thought, of maybe my thyroids you know I did not have a good level of thyroid so she sent me to um, a specialist endocrine and diabetic something like this and they did an MRI and a couple of blood tests and they found out that they, they're still unsure so I'm doing another MRI um, this it's already like December something, so I, it should be done next week or in the next two weeks before December ends. <sighs> I am tired of talking about this. I've been poked. I don't. I don't even know. I've had so many doctors' appointments. Maybe maybe not that many, but I made a couple of trips to uh, the the work, the lab. And uh, so right now, um, right now, I feel like I'm getting a little bit more weight, but still, you know, I'm not moving from the 50s, uh, the 150s. But anyway, so that's pretty much it. I'm on medication right now for the levothyroxine, like I said earlier, and it's gonna be for. Uh, uh, the whole freaking year and the doctor said that uh, I have uh, I don't I cannot have any more babies basically I don't have my period so it was a little bit sad when I first heard about it but hey some other people don't have any kids I am so blessed that at 25 I was able to give birth to a child you know, God gave me the strength to do all that, to finish college, to have a baby, you know, and to go through all that. And some people go through worse than that, you know. So I am trying to stay up and not give up. It's like, yeah. So that's pretty much it. I wanted to tell uh, everyone because my doctor says that in 10 years that she's been a doctor, she's been a doctor. She's only seen uh, six cases and I am the sixth one. But online I saw that some people have it, but um, they don't know about it. Because I've I had it for three years, I didn't know. I just thought, oh, I don't have my period. Well, I'm happy. I don't have any more period. I am free. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so that's pretty much it. A little bit of about, about me. Uh, my name is Christine Konike. Uh, it's the, um, I speak French. My name is French. It's the first time I'm doing a video like this and hopefully I can post it on YouTube. And when I do, 
I will I will go and look for the name of the exact uh, the exact thing I have. There is a name that you you know there is a name for a benign tumor in your pituitary gland. So I will do that. Um, uh, I was born in a small country called Gabon. Uh, I've been in here in the U.S. for nine years. I graduated from the University of Oregon, and I'm actually in, still in Eugene, Oregon, right now. I work as a CNA because when I uh, when I finished school. I didn't have any work experience. I was just in school the whole time. And then when I finished school, first I had the baby. Then nothing happened. I was at home for a year because I had to do immigration stuff. And then when I was ready to apply for a job, it was just, you know, when you don't have any work experience, it's really hard. So. I did a CNA for me. Uh, I did a CNA program, and I am a CNA right now. I am happy because I work with a lot of nurses and and stuff. So I'm actually thinking of going to nursing school instead of medical school, um, and that's pretty much it about me. And yeah, I hope uh, my video helps. And bye. Thank you. Actually, turn that off.